So we speed run almost every Twisted Metal for the PS1 so far. Still gotta work my way up to Twisted Metal 4 and all of its many tricks. But for now, we get to graduate into a Twisted Metal I'm actually good at with no real tricks that I get to play on easy mode and just see what happens. Hopefully something good. We can hope. Nice thing about Twisted Metal Black is that many of these vehicles are viable for speedrun purposes. Grim is a good choice on easy mode. Spectre, I know to be a very good choice. And for some reason, Warthog is one of the best. Holds many, many high place times. But Crazy 8 is an up and comer. I thought I held some kind of secret to success in Crazy 8. But about a week ago, someone else started speedrunning with Crazy 8. So, we'll see if I am as good as them. Only one way to find out. Let's see how this game treats me. I did consider briefly that the PAL version of this game might be faster than the US version because there are no cutscenes in that version. I probably shouldn't have died there because that was my last life. Whatever. Let's start fresh. Mm -hmm. A little more prepared. Secretly practicing my first attempts. I mean, I did that a lot with Twisted Metal 2. This game is going to be similarly very difficult. And rely largely on skill and a good part on luck as well. It's got a lot in common with Twisted Metal 2 speedrun. Which I hated. But I like this game, so... There was slightly more than half of Roadkill's health with a single use of the special. Now I'm going to need a weapon or two. I got two gas cans there. A classic twisted metal thing. They just give you two of a weapon at the same time. Going for shields is still disappointing and non-functional. And yes, we are on easy mode. And I will have to remember to prove that at the end of the run if I ever want to submit any of my runs. Because all the runs I have done... are invalid on the leaderboards because I did not show the difficulty. Which, I mean, that's the rules. I know they're valid. And I, I do have the full VODs to prove their validity. But I don't care enough about the leaderboards to show that all off.
There are no good weapons up here. Why am I up here? Damn. Did not get a good jump. That's more like it. My movement is certainly very sloppy. We'll see if that improves as I play a lot more Twisted Metal Black. Eh, that's a waste. Getting to play Twisted Metal Black is its own reward. Doesn't matter if you PV. And I will PV because this is my only run. Finish Grim. I don't need to finish Grim. Who cares about Grim? There's the gold standard. Stone down. Grim down. changed when I do the split, so that I'm not having to fumble with splits while also menuing. Menuing is hard enough. I wonder if the doll mask knows anything about whether or not work has been done to test whether the PAL version of this game is any faster due to the lack of cutscenes. Like, do you just skip the intro of Minion and uh, a couple of the other enemies? Because that would save a few seconds. Maybe not enough to be worth it, but... With games that are less random than this, that's the sort of thing that people spend a lot of money to test. Max damage of satellite missiles. Still disappointing. Another one down. Sort of a strategic death. I'd rather have the weapons than that extra life.
always find myself rationing weapons, trying to use the best weapons on the highest health enemies. split screen. There she is. Another one down. Might as well save our weapons. We're on the lights of Spectre. so that I can kill her rapidly. That was certainly faster than before. That's a great sound effect. Thank you, game. This level has very few twists to it. Simplicity through and through, and... Using a lot of reticles can make it go very fast. Thing is, you gotta get reticles, and they're random. See, sometimes you get satellites. Regret everything about your life. Hitting walls. Can handle that though. We just slide right off them. This is my least played level, so I don't have a great sense of where the weapons even are. Could be detrimental over the course of playing it a lot. I mean, we'll learn all about it as we play it more. Nice quick kill on a heavily armored enemy. Axel just wants a fully charged reticle in his face. So you shall receive. We can really wipe out enemies basically immediately. Feels pretty good. Bit of revenge there. Take that. Guy with an umbrella. That'll learn ya.
ram down. Surprisingly, three enemies left. Also, I think there's a thunderstorm happening outside my apartment right now. Pretty cool. Very immersive. The world wants to be its own, Twisted Metal. Yeah, good one. <clears throat> I'm still getting about four minutes a level, though. Feels like that's going to be too slow. Maybe this boss will somehow save time. Although we are going to have to grind for weapons after killing the boss. Whoop. Slippery. Almost all the panels gone. Did it. Please kill me. Thank you. Give me some specials. <laughs> free shot. Oh my god, a free shot worked! You know, all these years, I have assumed that Minion was completely immune to free shots. Because when he has the shield up, he is. This is actually a huge revelation to me. It means almost nothing, but it's really surprising nonetheless. Keeps freezing me right in the middle of my special though. Now we go look for weapons. Because I would like to be able to kill the enemies that we start with in the prison. It's just me. Reticle's not the best the skill based pickups we could have right now. few more. Should just about do it. Minion destroyed. Thank you so much for the vote of confidence, Doll Mask. Definitely a thunderstorm going on. Also, thanks for stopping by, Doll Mask. Always a pleasure. Now, let's see how the prison passage treats me. One down. The gates open immediately when the enemies die. Saving time. If I'd used the jump there, it would have saved even more time. You can't save time here, because if you kill everybody, the boat still takes the same amount of time to get to shore. I think. 
So right now, we are just on borrowed time. We can do whatever we want, and it's no loss. Unless I'm dead wrong. This is exactly the moment that we wish we had Dollmask here to ask questions. But whatever, we'll figure it out over the course of the week. If need be. Lost a few weapons there, but... Still make it count. I guess the trick would be to somehow die as the ship is opening. Because that teleports you somewhere else in the level. Probably somewhere closer to someone you can kill. Uh, Roadkill gets to live another couple of seconds. Kind of surprising how easy mode is not that much easier than normal. Because hard mode is worlds harder than normal. I figured it might be a bit of a huge drop down. Apparently not. God damn. No charged up special. Efficient special usage is going to end up being a huge part of getting better at the run. I'm quite good at this special, so... It's not the worst fate in the world. Nice. Roadkill's ready to die. See? Look at him ready. He died. One enemy left. I would like some weapons to bring into the next level. Especially the environmentals. Because environmentals are broken as hell in the snowy roads. They suck here, but... Their existence here means you can pick them up and then carry them on. Is that Grim? Is Grim my only remaining enemy? Grim is my only remaining enemy. Oh, I used my environmental that I was saving. And I got stuck on a wall. Fortunately, I'm losing a lot of time to Grim. To free shots, if nothing else. And Grim, you are murdering this run, which had been going very well. I thought that was a gimme. Really, it should have been, too. Not like I'm going to game over or anything, though. Multiple free environmentals. And here it comes. He's dead.
So not the worst that split could be. Six minutes for a level and a half like Prison Passage. Pretty reasonable expectations. But now, we just let the environmentals do all the work. And indeed they will, as soon as I get control. And not drive myself off the edge. One of the quirks about playing on actual PS2 hardware is... Every time a new level starts up, it changes resolution. And in that moment, I am blind. While the capture device tries to catch up. No enemies here. Yeah, I've been starting every level completely blind. Why won't they go in the environmental area? There, there's three enemies in the environmental. Gonna be five soon. A lot of lightning going on outside. It's so moody in here. Hey, I got another environmental. So many environmentals. More environmentals? Nay. I've exhausted my environmental allotment. That's fine. JD is down. Mr. Grimm is here to be underestimated. Good stuff. Can I get this? No. <clears throat> that was a pretty fast level. Sub 30, obviously not going to happen this run. But clearly going to happen, I mean... The fact that I'm definitely going to do better than this over the course of this week. I'd say my goal this time is very attainable. No pipe dream here. Ah, she drove away too fast. I really wish she had backed off of the edge of the platform. That would have saved me some time. release some ammo. I still killed her ridiculously fast. Chapu's been right next to me this whole time. and Oh, it was Axel, but even still, just couldn't spot him. Hope they converge. Nah, they spread out too much.
Another one down, but I am out of weapons. Whoa, that's that's terrible. I hate when that happens. I had some good stuff in my pocket. This health refill is right in the middle of enemy pathing. But we'll keep the bad guys from getting it. Oh, he's shielded. That's why my special is not hurting him very badly. Out of weapons. Don't need them. Weapons are for coward. Recharges don't take that long, at least. Thought I might have seen an enemy falling over the edge, but I guess that was wishful thinking. Wanted. Yet another one killed. I got specials ready to go. Looks like Roadkill wants one. Special is fantastic. I love it. And it's so active. I get to actually do something while using my special. Quit moving around so much. Oh, you're kidding me. That definitely should have hit. enemy. Don't even know who it is. They're probably mostly unharmed. It's always Spectre. I should just assume that it's Spectre from now on. As odds are that it is. Spectre I'm gonna meet on the field of battle. And kill almost instantly. Because it's Spectre. Still a five minute level. Nothing to do here. Try and get some weapons for a little while. Almost very unwise to do. Really into free shots right now. Hell. The helicopter got just outside of range. Just when I needed it in range. Now we won't perch. This boss fight is very frustrating for speedrun purposes. And for most other purposes. 
kind of just an annoying boss fight. Still annoying. Get over here. Oh, does he not have a shield? I guess that first hit counted. Yeah. This had a bit of a defeatist attitude, apparently. Last half empty and all that. Bad RNG, though. Oh. Almost got tenderized right the hell out of here. So this. Not the best use of my special. Still haven't gotten a satellite. Losing a lot of 50 50 coin flips. Damn it. No, he's dead. I thought for sure he had gotten away, but he just got behind me. Hey, 3526. Sub 30, highly attainable. Also, that was very fun. Push the Metal Black. Fun ass speed run. Eighth place. Thank you, Blast Tyrant, for checking that out. Not a bad start. And we're probably going to experiment a bit with Mr. Grimm. Um, maybe Warthog, although I kind of dread Warthog. Warthog doesn't seem that fun. Probably just back and forth between Grimm and uh, Crazy 8. Yellow Jacket has been recommended to me, and Yellow Jacket can put out a lot of damage. So that might be viable. If those are the three I switch between, we can have a lot of fun and a lot of variety over the course of this week. Well, now any... Tiny time save I get. Gets us a sub 30. I do really want to use Crazy 8 for the sub 30, though. But my arms need a break. And that break is named Mr. Grimm. No button mashing required to get the most out of his special. More than anything, button mashing is likely to uh, cause you unnecessary issues. Okay. Ready. I'm just messing around here. Making sure the timer works. Absolutely, positively works. And away we go. <clears throat> so the thing about the junkyard is Mr. Grimm sort of inherently has a time save here. His special should just tear everything up in this level. Without any button mashing or 
very much work at all. Unless you miss. That represents a time loss. Not a big one, though. We get a lot of specials. Maneuverability is dramatically increased. Finally landed a special on the biggest target in the game. Uh, okay. There's probably the main drawback of Mr. Grimm. Once he starts flopping around on the ground, you are never getting him back under control. He will flop for the rest of his life. Bullseye bonus. Oh, he grabbed a help refill. But I did launch a satellite from close enough to an enemy that the missiles just hit the enemy without ever needing to go into the air. Or that would be nice. Even without turbo, we're fast enough to get around. That very much was not the case with Crazy 8. Damn it. <laughs> and he's actively sacrificing one another. I frankly missed way too many specials at this point. Quite frankly, it's too many. So even a bad run beats my junkyard. But that junkyard was a minute behind, so not a good point of comparison. Not even slightly.
forgot I got the machine gun upgrade. Not anymore. I just sort of instinctively use it to help me line up shots. Machine gun. I don't want to do that when I have the upgrade. Spend a few minutes lining that up just to die anyway. How did that holy missile miss? Criminal stuff happening right now. Highly disagreeable. Okay, just ignore the whole level. Why not? We got ourselves another terrible run that is still likely to come out in the green. Or at least capable of coming out of the green. Definitely not going to come out of the green, but it was looking like it for a little while there. Okay, a little green. Or, once again, a horribly executed level. <laughs> The fact that the early game of that last run was so bad is going to skew my, uh... My green times. In a way that I'm gonna have to get used to. Green on the, fir the first few splits is nowhere near good enough.
would like to have that. Grim's not nearly as slippery as the other vehicles, at least. right behind me. Shadow has left the building. Barely won. But it was still a big time save. Because I have a lot of time to save there. Now for the bosses on which I will automatically take a time loss. But hopefully not a big one. On panel left. I'm for sure I had it with that power missile. There we go. Had to use all my good weapons, though. Satellites are less than ideal, and reticles are even worse. That's what I wanted. Pretty good boss fight. Yeah, barely a time loss, actually. And I have a lot of weapons going in here. Just gotta not die, or else I'll lose them all. That's kind of a bad pull on the not dying side. Getting roadkill. Roadkill? Fucker. But he's dead. Thankfully. Let them deal with each other for a little while. that one. Stole one of my health refills, and I didn't get my special off. 
nonetheless, we are not yet losing time. We could start losing time soon, though. Another one down, at least. Okay. Everyone's dead, and we got plenty of time to go look for stuff before the ship docks. I'm gonna need some stuff. Enemies have spawned in. Accidentally got a huge assist. Manslaughter was being a bro there. Did a lot of work for me. Leaving one enemy. I have no idea who it is. Where they are. It's Spectre. Of course it's Spectre. No, it's outlaw. Oh, I used my environmental. I was saving that. Oh, well. That was still a mass of gold. <laughs> Mr. Grimm is good. Mr. Grimm is very good. I'm going to go for shocks. Deafening shocks. Well, I have the chance. Damn it. Did not mean to select my special there. In fact, I basically didn't select my special. It just respawned at the exact moment that I was switching weapons. wasn't worth it. But whatever. I didn't lose too much there. What we gained could prove invaluable. I did get him with a special, as I was dying. We don't leave nearly as many enemies with 1 HP when we're playing as Mr. Grimm. As was a huge, huge problem with Crazy 8. Alright, pick up... Pick up, so we're gonna start losing time.
god. Well, road kills being awful. Don't need him murdering me. I will take that slight time loss to not just lose the entire run. How about some no roadkill this time? What do you say, game? There he is. Right on cue. Almost pushed, uh... Crazy eight all the way off, and then dark side. Off she goes. Taking a full health bar with her. to be in a bit of a spot, though. No one really stuck around to take advantage of it. It was quite lucky. Could have basically afforded the death, but... Radical changed targets on me at the last second. Causing it not to get a 10 out of 10. Careful. Get a nice clean navigation up the fuselage. Yet lives. And now they're both dead. Who's left? Roadkill? Roadkill has extremely high fucker potential. If no one shows up, I'm kind of screwed. They just start driving away, as it looks like they are doing. Damn you. Unpredictability is the greatest tool of the AI. Uh, that is another gold split in rooftops. Yeah, we really do just have Darkseid to thank for that entire level going so well. All because the doll mash showed up in chat. Gave me his blessing. I 
I'm still at no risk of beating the Doll Mask. Not by a long shot. Doll Mask is threatening a sub 20. Did I just. Okay. The boss's shield got so transparent so quickly, I thought I might have one cycle to shield this time. Apparently, you never know. You can play this game for 20 years and still do a thing you've never even considered might be possible. for the inherent time loss of being Mr. Graham. And not having the best possible tool for the job. This Crazy 8 special at your disposal. I could have scythed him real good. But I didn't. No one to blame but myself for that. There he goes. So there we go. Sub 30, finally. Mr. Grimm is pretty ridiculous. Kind of obviously the best choice for this particular run. It's those first two splits, even though they're green, were horrible. Just utter trash. And then the rest of the run was fantastic, but those first two, inexcusable. Anyway, I don't think we're done. Sub-30 is a great start. It might be where we end for the week, but I would prefer to push it even further.